they were shocked. You know, it's, um, I can't say that we've had a lot of, you know, experiences like that around the office, but any that we did have were all older people. So um, my position was such that I was support to um, quite a few different teams and had to work closely with them every day. So um, they were surprised, you know, it, I didn't, I found out and I didn't come back to work. I mean, I did stop in to say hi, but um, I found that I added a lot of them as friends on Facebook. Um, they're all very supportive. They all send me messages. A um, bunch, of, you know, they're actually going to be doing a cancer benefit for me this summer. So I guess I didn't know. Uh, they're more friends than co-workers. I had no idea. It's been great. We're doing silent auctions and t-shirts again. They want to use the, the one my son designed. And um, I just was surprised to see so many of my former co-workers had volunteered to do work on it. And uh, it, it, it's overwhelming. I still really can't process it all, but I'm looking forward to it. And they're doing a lot. I had no idea what went into these things and how much planning and, and work is behind it. I'm just honored that they're even willing to do it. Just don't overdo it. I mean, it's, it, for me, I wanted to try to keep my life as normal as possible, but the definition of normal changed. I, you know, I wanted to be superwoman. I, I never didn't want to admit I was run down or sick or tired, you know, but, um, that's not beneficial. So don't do what you need to do to take care of yourself first. Otherwise you can't do the other stuff. <laughs>